Hello everybody, Ranger Mark Mello with the Blackstone River Valley National Historical Park welcoming you to our 13th Ranger Chat. As you'll notice, there's a different background behind me this week. Uh, finally back in the office, no longer in my home office, so that's pretty exciting uh, and signs of progress for sure. This week we want to uh, join our friend from the north once again, Ranger Allison Horrocks, as she continues the Samuel Patch story and how it all connects with the idea of temperance in the United States. Hi again, Ranger Allison here. Gonna tell you a slightly different story today. Right near Sam Patch's jumping spot is a fountain. Now, it's no longer used for practical purposes anymore, but it does stand as a monument to an important 19th century social movement known as temperance. Sadly, there's not a leaping story here, but there is a man who believed that he could go to great heights. Henry D. Cogswell was born in 1820, at a time when Americans were drinking alcohol at astonishing rates, far more than most consume today. This fact would have great bearing on his life, just as the consumption of alcohol adversely affected Sam Patch's own life. As he came of age, Cogswell sought fame and a bit of fortune, again, much like Sam Patch. He also worked in some of the factories of New England in his younger years. After that, their stories diverge quite considerably. Cogswell went on to become a dentist and eventually moved to California. While he was working in California, Cogswell was an early adopter of chloroform and he also made some very shrewd and important investments. These investments made him a very wealthy man. Years of staring into patients' mouths also gave time for Cogswell to think about other social reforms. Cogswell became interested in the temperance movement and ended up spending quite a bit of his fortune on it. Like other temperance advocates of the day, Cogswell cared what people put in their mouths, and he wanted them to abstain from alcohol in favor of drinking water. To that end, Cogswell invested in fountains in cities all over the United States. This is what brings us back to Pawtucket and to the fountain that we see here today. This particular fountain, which features a beautiful bird, also has a message that water is God's free gift to man and beast. Codswell's intention with these fountains was to encourage temperance and the taking in of water instead of alcohol. They were not popular, to say the least. Many were defaced or destroyed entirely, and many working-class people saw temperance motions such as this one as an attempt to control their behavior. Many of the Cogswell fountains would not survive into the present. This particular one was moved across Pawtucket several times and eventually is where we see it here today, right back where we started in the spot where Sam Patch did his leaps. Overall, people were not impressed with these fountains, nor did they take good care of them. Often they were defaced or destroyed entirely. This one is actually a bit exceptional. It was moved across Pawtucket several times but remains in its city of origin today. The story of the man behind the fountain is a reminder of the many histories that sometimes flow right before our very eyes. Thank you so much for joining me again and take care. Thank you, Ranger Allison, for joining us again this week. Um, and as always, if you have any ideas for topics you'd like to see covered in the upcoming weeks, please leave those down in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. With that being said, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you out there along the Blackstone really soon.